Hello, my name is Marcus and uh, today I will show you how to camera map in 3D Studio Max. So this is what we'll be creating. You can see uh, the boxing bags are sticking out uh, from the wall and uh, yeah, from the beginning this was only one picture and uh, it looked like this. No. and uh, it's only mapped onto simple geometry uh, the background anyway uh, so let's get started we'll be starting off in Photoshop painting out these uh, boxing bags from the wall so Let's uh, begin here. Double click on the background layer to make it editable. And uh, we can, uh, we're going to paint out uh, both boxing bags. So just uh, copy this part. Layer via copy. Control T, move. And press enter. Uh, let's try to fit the pattern like that. And uh, opacity lower to 50 so we can see what we're doing. And make, take the eraser tool, zoom in a little, uh, make it a little smaller, and soften the edges. Okay, almost done. And then uh, increase the opacity to see what it's looking like. Yeah, it is not perfect. You can see edges here, but uh, since we're going to add it back in later, it uh, doesn't matter. And here we can uh, do the same thing. Select the background layer and uh, copy this part over. Uh, layer via copy, control T, and uh, hit the pattern, and uh, lower the opacity, and uh, select the eraser tool, make it a little bigger, maybe. And, uh, paint, make the edges soft, like this, and then uh, increase the opacity again. And this does not look very good. So we'll take the and select shadows. And we're going to paint that mid-tones, uh, lower the exposure. I'll go to image adjustments, brightness contrast maybe, and uh, lower the brightness okay that's fine it's not perfect but it's fine and then save this as another file we're going to use both the original and the, this one the room m save as a jpeg okay now we're done here let's get into 3d studio max Okay, here in the 3ds Max, uh, drag and drop the empty room or uh, whichever picture, and uh, drop it uh, on the, in the perspective viewport and uh, use as an environment map and viewport background. Then uh, press Alt B and uh, match uh, aspect ratio to match bitmap, and press OK, and then uh, hold Shift and uh, press F to make uh, the aspect ratio right. Then move uh, this uh, grid into Alt W to maximize and uh, move this so that it fits uh, with these two walls. Uh, 
function is as good as possible. Like that somehow. Uh, okay. Now uh, let's uh, create the geometry. So make a plane and drag it out here. And uh, in the top view, no, uh, go to edit panel and uh, lower everything to one segment. Then go back to perspective view, press G to get rid of the grid and uh, add, add modifier edit poly. Uh, select edges and uh, maximize. Press W to move to. Here you can see you add it exactly on the edge and here too. Somewhere there. Then go back out. Uh, drag this edge out so that it fills the entire frame and uh, this edge too. Now take the edge to the leg again, maximize this frame, uh, viewport and uh, select these two by holding control when pressing. Then press shift and drag to extrude the edges. Now here it is a little tricky. So uh, press material. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, get out of uh, the edit poly mode. Press materials and drag and drop a new material and lower the opacity to 50. Uh, and uh, press Alt W to uh, go out here and uh, take the. And press uh, on the vertex tool here. Select uh, this vertex up in this corner here, come from this edge, and uh, drag it down to fit the edge. And uh, the same with uh, this. You can see down in the perspective viewport that I'm trying to fit it into position. Okay, uh, then uh, take the edge tool again and uh, extrude uh, this edge out. And uh, then uh, take the target weld to maximize to see better and weld this edge to that. Now we have the simple background geometry and let's add a camera map modifier and create a new camera by pressing ctrl c and uh, open the material slot no material editor and uh, go back to images room empty drag and drop on a new material slot and uh, drop that onto the geometry. Okay, now uh, select the geometry again. Uh, go to the camera map modifier and Alt W to get out of that. And uh, pick camera and select the camera. Uh, now you can see that this does not look very good. So go to the camera and uh, oh yeah now I know uh, select the geometry go to subdivide sub divide and uh, take it down to maybe 50 and now it is uh, looking rather good here if we maximize again, press uh, P for position, uh, no, uh, perspective, and uh, you can see here, this is what it looks like. So if we press Alt B and uh, untick display background, so we can see only this. Okay, it's uh, very black inside here, but uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, so this is a geometry with the picture mapped on the, to it, and uh, here we are going to add the boxing bag in the next part.